Hello everybody, uh, a short update. Um, I'm still uh, working uh, at the workshop with, um, with the ball spear. Uh, as you can see now I have uh, turned it upside down um, so that I can uh, do uh, the welds, uh, the welding down here and um, I'm not gonna make any close-up because it's not that pretty but uh, actually I have a uh, missus on the in the workshop today and uh, that is one of my scout friends uh, building a kayak at the moment and uh, it looked like this it's uh, a quite beauty and I'm of course talking about the kayak <laughs> and uh, this is my hi my how it's going? Slow. Uh. Slow but steady. <laughs> She's learning a little bit about boat building. It's always going too slow. <laughs> the, the Mark, which is uh, from the same scout groups as uh, my, we are not from the same group, but uh, in the same uh, organization. And uh, he was building the, the canoe and on the paper, <laughs> It was uh, saying that it could be being built with it within 18 uh, hours and uh, the first weekend he was spending more than 18 hours and there was nothing that was looking just a little bit like a canoe. So we are joking about that it's only taking 18 hours. And, but uh, it's gonna be a beauty when it's gonna hit the water, the kayak. Um, and uh, I'm also quite sure that it's gonna sail quite good. So. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit more about uh, the sail uh, sewing uh, uh, stuff um, and um, then uh, I just hope you enjoy it and uh, any question just ask and like if you like and share and so on and all that jazz and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy the rest of the movie. See you later. <clears throat> so um, what happens now is um, both uh, both sail, the main sail and the fore sail, uh, is connected. That means that they are like two pieces, one each. And um, here is the main sail. Uh, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna roll it out, and then I'm gonna mark the edges where I have to cut it. Uh, the lower panel um, have to have a little um, all the panel is going straight down except for the lower one is going a little bit towards uh, the front at the bottom and um, uh, and I just have to roll out and also the three top panels so one two and three uh, the front edge and the Baggage. I have to trim it a little bit because it's just with uh, oily, and actually also the button is also with uh, a little oily. Um, so uh, one of the challenges is that um, uh, the sail is bigger than the plastic, but uh, I just have to watch out for ducks off and things like that. Um, because of the shape in the sail you cannot get it straight because uh, where it's, the panels have been uh, stitched together it's, uh, it's a straight line and because uh, the two straight line is going like uh, the top side of, a, of an airplane wing or airfoil then uh, it's like six meters and ten straight but the curve is maybe six meters and 30 or 40 or something like that so uh, there would be some surplus in the middle so um, I just have to figure out 
we had to cut it clean and uh, and I know that now so uh, that's good I just uh, the top I need to uh, measure out and uh, you know know where I am uh, but it's uh, actually looking quite good um, and also because the shape uh, that had been uh, uh, stitched in or so into it also uh, hard to make a, a straight line at the front but when the sail is being topped up then and um, it's been blown into shape it's uh, I'm not thinking it's gonna be a problem and this is the first sail I made and it's not gonna win any beauty competition but just from laying it out I'm pretty sure it's gonna move the boat um, because uh, yeah, well, I actually had the first win in my sail today and uh, unfortunately no boat on the least to be moved but um, so, but it's actually looking quite nice and I'm looking forward to get it on the boat it's um, an impressive, impressive uh, sight and uh, actually I'm quite happy with it it's, I haven't hitting the right point all the way but it within a couple of centimeters would basically mean within an inch and uh, it's okay it's uh, if i have to sell the sail to somebody then of course it have to be looking better but uh, i'm not so uh, so it's fine for me i just uh, i just need to measure out the, the places where i have to uh, to uh, to make the points and then I can take it in because I have the, the point where I need to cut it I don't need to have it folded out in one big piece I just need uh, to lay it and then I can see where I am so I have to find another piece of alloy the alloy that I was moving around at the top is uh, is four meters that would be uh, 16 feet or something like that just so you get a impression of uh, how big it is Green, aloof, uh, the green uh, plastic foil is 8 meters by 12 meters, and that would be uh, oh, 35 or 6 feet, uh, and uh, and the other way, no, not 30, it would be 27 or 8 feet, and the other way that would be like 40 feet. So. Uh, so that's also a good um, a good measurement. Yes, I will pick up the the other yellow part. I have to uh, draw some lines. <clears throat> I can see that um, actually I don't need to draw the line right now because um, I, I have to control it. But it seems like I can, like I can, I can have a little more than a feet, a feet and uh, two inches after or behind the sail pockets. Um, so that is what I'm going to use as a measurement and. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do it out here because it's sub-zero temperature and it's not a lot of wind but there's um, enough wind so it's not as pleasant and uh, to crawling around on the ground it's not um, it's not that funny when it's so cold but I'm sure you can find places where it's colder <laughs> but I'm not there I'm here so yes I will uh, take some measurements There's um, a little bit with the measurement there, um, not as as good as I want. But I've chosen to use the sail pockets because they're all cut at the same length, length, and they are starting at the same point. So maximum they will, if they um, not a stretch that much or a little less, there would be a little um, different. But it's not that much. So um, that is what I'm going to do. So now I just have to pack it together and uh, roll it and take it inside for 
for uh, for the edges. I have to make edges, and they have to first inside the the edges will be like a piece of fabric that's like folded like this. And where it's folded, there it's gonna be um, a four millimeter. Um, that's one six of inch um, piece of line uh, or a small rope, and uh, at the bottom and at the top there's going to be uh, maybe three ends on each side but it also has to be folded around and there's going to be um, also this line it's going all the way around and then there's going to be uh, a 10 millimeter it's a little less than uh, than a half inch uh, rope going around it's like a three turned rope i don't know what's actually the right name for it is in english but at the top of the bottom there also have to be some grommets and that is to connect the sail to the top boom and to the bottom boom and uh, at the moment I just think this, those three layers will, will, uh, will do it because there's not going to be a lot of uh, pressure on those eyes being uh, taken in there so it's, it's more um, in the front or in the back uh, that uh, the pressure is going to be so uh, Maybe I'm gonna put in extra day, I'm not sure yet. I will see when I get there. So, uh, the reason why I choose this uh, with, uh, with a foil in it, or um, like an airplane, that is to give it more lift. And um, there is just as many ways to do a junk rig as there are boats. Um, there are really a lot of ways to do it. Some do it flat, it's easier to handle and easier to to sew together and all that stuff um, and uh, the arguments everybody knows they are not pre performing that well but uh, then again it's not a racing boat and I can see the argue, the argue of that those friends that I have been referring to earlier they, they are, have sailed their pancake flat and uh, they are pushing the boat nicely along um, I just have this uh, thing I expect everything to break down <clears throat> at some point and um, and if I can start the engine I would like to be able to uh, to sail out of the trouble and uh, going close to the wind is uh, one of those uh, security uh, measurements and that's why I do all the trouble by making a shape into the sail and uh, it's, it's not the right way for everybody, it's, I guess, the right way for me, or at least until uh, otherwise proven. So, um, those making flat sails, sails are probably going to be happy with, with it, and uh, I'm making it with this, and uh, it's just another way to do it. And um, it's right now it's a little more complicated, it would have been easier with a pancake flat sail, because they would just stretch it out and I could see everything I was doing right now it's uh, it's a little more complicated but uh, when the sail is sitting there and I have to go against the wind I'm sure um, the, it would be worth the trouble so now I just have to fold it and it's like 40 kilo or 80 pound line there so um, it's gonna be interesting <laughs> this is one of the play time where it would have been nice with an extra couple of hands but uh, I'm sure <laughs> it's gonna work and then I'm maybe going to get a little warm. <laughs> yes.